Welcome back to the Cooner Show on 570 WTNT, the last honest man in Washington, 301-984-9570. You know, my friends, you want to know why I'm not a big fan of Fox News? You don't get me wrong. I prefer them to CNN and MS Left BC. And, you know, that's not much of a competition there. But why I've never seen the future of the conservative movement or the future of America rests on Fox News, here's why. By the way, this story was tipped off to me by Lisa Marie, one of our uh, listeners. And i got to tell you, best audience in the business, if you have a great news tip, just send them off to coonertime at live.com, K-U-H-N-E-R, time at live.com. Uh, Lisa Marie, hat tip to you. This ran on Fox News' website, all right, at foxnews.com, yesterday, August 30th, 2010, Monday. It's by Kristen Mark. Apparently, she has a Fox on Sex column. She's a weekly columnist. She's a sex therapist. Kristen Mark, K-R-I-S-T-E-N Mark, because you're not going to believe this. You're going to think I'm making this up. So, it's, the column is called Fox on Sex when three is not a crowd. Look it up yourselves because you're not going to believe this. Now, this is a woman who's supposedly a sex therapist. Now, I just looked at some of her previous columns. This is Kristen Mark. Hmm. The ABCs of strip tease. Oh, that's nice. Well, the ABCs of how to strip. Hmm. Very conservative there. Uh, let's get physical. Tips and tricks for sex exercise. Oh, some tips and exercises. How to be more sexually capable in the bedroom. Hmm. Here is her column. I kid you not. Now, this is the vanguard of the conservative movement. These are the big culture warriors at Fox News. These are the ones fighting liberal secularism in our permissive culture. Here it is. Fox on sex when three is not a crowd. Here's her column by Kristen Mark. Is a threesome in your future, whether it's with your lover, a fling, or your husband slash wife, the fantasy of a menage a trois, as the French would put it, has crossed the mind of many at one point or another, and this week at Good in Bed, I'll be answering questions and talking about the role fantasy plays in stimulating desire. Now, I don't know, people, am I some kind of a Neanderthal? I mean, literally, is there something wrong with me? I've never had a fantasy about a menage a trois. I've never uh, thought of a threesome. I never thought of having a woman or a man in bed with me and my wife. I, I never thought of that that I wanted a man or a woman to join me in bed. Am I the only one? Am I, am I crazy? But according to Kristen Mark, oh, no, no. Here, she continues. Not everyone is open to it. But you'll be happy to know that many men and women have fantasized about it. Really, what's so happy to know about that? A bunch of perverts getting together for a little orgy? This is now somehow uh, 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 the bastion of conservative values? Unfortunately, uh, Miss Mark continues... Most fear judgment by their partners. You think so, huh? Revealing that you're a pervert. You think that would maybe make some people uneasy. But she goes, most fear judgment by their partners, making them too embarrassed to bring it up. Sometimes when we hear our partner has a threesome fantasy, it's easy to feel emotionally hijacked and react brashly. To get beyond this, affirm their desires... Assure them that their fantasies don't depreciate their long-term value, their value long-term, and appreciate their openness to experience new things. In fact, any time I've had a partner approach me with the idea, I've taken it as a positive indicator of their comfort level with me, regardless of whether I was willing to partake. An important precursor to threesome talk is twosome talk, she continues. If you can communicate openly about other things sexual, this kind of discussion will be far less daunting. A really viable first step is to enjoy it as a sexy fantasy. Talk about what's sexy about it. Pretend you're going to have one and, go, and pick out people from a crowd. So basically she's saying, look, first fantasize. Talk about it with your spouse, your husband, your wife, boyfriend, girlfriend. And then pretend you're going to have one. And go and sit around at a shopping mall, I guess, or a restaurant, and look around and say, hey, would you like to do her? Would you like to do him? Because I'm into that person. So make it a sexy secret between you and your partner. 
It doesn't have to go farther than this to be a real source of sexual stimulus. So just even talking about it, hey, honey, you want to do her? Hey, hey, you want to do him? This already gets the juices flowing, according to Kristen Mark. Based on their reaction, you can determine whether it's something you should bring up seriously or not. In other words, does your partner think you're a sick? Any inkling or interest, leave it as a fantasy and incorporate it into a less risque avenue of excitement. For example, I swear to you, this is on Fox News. Sex toys. Porn or role-playing. Now, it goes on. The column is sick. It goes on and on about how to have threesomes, the, the, the positive effect of threesome, threesomes. Apparently, if you have threesomes, it, it, it uh, titillates uh, uh, your sex life. It spruces up your sex life. And in the end, we all have to have a good sex life. Now, I ask you, my friends, in all honesty, how the hell is this traditionalist? How the hell is this conservative? How the hell does this have anything to do with, let's say, the, uh, the rally over the weekend when they were talking about the restoration of our republic and our Judeo-Christian values? This is sick. This is moral perversity masquerading as sexual therapy. That's what this is. Now, maybe for Miss Mark, having threesomes is somehow a natural way of uh, having a relationship. But what she doesn't seem to understand, and apparently many of the uh, uh, libertines at Fox News, what many of these moral degenerates at Fox News don't understand is, a threesome in bed is a form of moral barbarism and perversion. The purpose of sex is not to be as kinky, not to be as perverse as possible. Believe me, uh, uh, Kristen Mark... If you want to start playing all these sorts of games, we can do sadomasochism. We can do it off the ceiling. We can go four, five, six, seven, eight people. We can put 20 in one room. Bring in a goat. If you, do you fantasize about goats? Bring in a goat. Bring in a goat with you and your partner. Go to a, a farm and look around and say, Honey, first you fantasize. Then you bring your spouse along. And then you say, Honey, what do you think? A goat? Maybe a cow? Maybe a horse. What do you think, sweetheart? Ah, uh, maybe in the barn. Would you like that? This is sick. And you want to see what is wrong with our culture today? This is the sexual therapist. This is the one giving advice on Fox News' website. Now, it's not just her. It's why, for example, I completely lost respect for Bill O'Reilly. Why hardly even watch that guy's show ever? Unless I have to watch it to do this show. Look at his supposed culture warriors that he has on. Uh, Gretchen Carlson, that bimbo. Uh, Margaret Hoover, the other bimbo. I remember one time they were there with Bill O'Reilly, and he asked them, what do you guys think of gay marriage? They're both for it. What do you guys think of abortion? One won't answer, the other one says she's for it. Well, let me get this straight. You're pro-gay marriage. You have no problems uh, uh, with sex out of wedlock. You have no problems even with teenage pregnancies. You have no problems with abortion. So tell me, how are you conservative? Here's how they're conservative. Literally, this is their conservatism. No pedophilia. Don't, in other words, don't sleep with kids. Ooh, really? Oh, 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 oh that's a tough one. Oh, that's a, that's a gut-wrenching moral decision there. Oh, you're just laying it on the line there. Oh, it's tough to be a culture warrior. Very tough. That's, a, that's very controversial. They're opposed to judges who are light on pedophiles. And... They like stable relationships. Now, you could have two, you could have three, you could have four, you could have multiple partners, but it's got to be stable. It's very important to be stable. A stable relationship and don't sleep with kids. That's the cultural conservatism of Fox News. Now, my friends, the question before the House is a simple one. Are you disappointed that Fox News is peddling orgies? Are you disappointed that Fox News is peddling threesomes in the bedroom, a menage a trois? Do you think it's inappropriate? 301-984-9570. And to all of you hip liberals out there, have you had a threesome? Do you think that's a healthy way to build a relationship? Do you recommend it? 301-984-9570. This is Jeff Cooner, the last honest man. And I think... The last monogamous man in Washington. Monogamous.